The summer of 85 may be around a distant corner for you, but for the swimwear manufacturers, it's already here. And to get an idea of what lies ahead, just look at Apparel Ventures, producer of three different lines of swimwear. How do their designers tell what the customer wants? Well, a lot of it is watching the stores for early sales. Marvin Goodman is president. Ass is a swimwear line for the young, active California girl. What's in and what's out for her this year? Well, abstracts are in. Paint splattered and splashed fabrics are going to be big. Tropical and floral patterns will be in, too. Stripes, while still popular, are on their way out. Will the suits of 85 get skimpier? Well, they'll be sexy and sensual, maybe. But the customer still wants a suit that father will approve. I don't think she's looking to take off uh, a great deal of, of material all at once and become uh, much more exposed. I think she's looking for uh, a, a, uh, a product that will still give her a sense of social security, but some excitement. Early word this year had predicted bright neon colors and shiny serrae fabrics, but maybe the consumer will have something to say about that. We all tried neon, real bright neon colors, and I'm not sure that the customer hasn't told us that that's neon, but they are deep, bright, and bold. You know, yellow used to be out. People thought it attracted bugs on the beach. Now it's definitely in, especially when matched with black. The other big news is that legs are cut high and sides are cut low. Clearly in this year's side interest in a suit. It's laced up or it's got a mesh inset or it's cut down to the side and affixed with a zipper. Um, leg details, things seem to be happening on the sides of the suits. When it comes to skimpy two-piece suits, we're talking too hot Brazil. Jerry Gastelum is the designer for Sassafras and the line called Too Hot Brazil. Think about her job. When we're huddled around the fireplace in winter, she's jetting around to the hot spots in space as it's easy to come up with ideas. This year, it's lots of twists, knots, and ties. Hot colors, yellows, green and orange are on their way. And the trend in style? Can bikinis get any smaller? Which way do the designers want it to go? I hope a whole on side interest, zippers, mesh, and lace, fewer stripes, more abstract paint splash fabrics, and above all, the biggest trend, high legs and low-cut sides. Never have so many owed so much to so little material. That's the food. I mean, it's great. The sand is so white and clear, and I want to take it home with me. Further south still are the many islands that make up the Bahamas, where beautiful Rebecca Holden comes to stay in shape. Young moms like Jane Seymour come just to relax. It's great fun because my husband can play tennis and my baby can play incessantly on the beach and uh, the sun's not so strong that I'm not getting sizzled up by it. <laughs> Even further south, Raquel Welch flipped for the beaches on the Caribbean island of Mostique, so much so that she came back to film her new beauty and fitness video. Princess Margaret has a home there, and Mick Jagger has a home there. Megan's Bay on the Virgin Island of St. Thomas is a heady tropical cocktail of white sand and palm trees. But no list of great beaches would be complete without a brief visit to the Très Chic Côte de Jour in the south of France. And for anyone who wants their beach experience to vibrate with the sound of a gentle samba, there's only one thing to do. Go to Rio and look for that girl from Ipanema. Rio de Janeiro is tailor-made for the beautiful people. It's a place where actress Sybil Danning feels right at home. You have to get away and relax. And that's another thing that I love about Rio so much is that the climate is wonderful. I mean, it's like, I think it's probably about 110 degrees, but it's beautiful and relaxing and it's humid. It's humid just enough um, to be very good for your skin. And Connie wouldn't let the list be complete without revealing her secret number one. It's back home here in the USA. The rugged charms of Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard have become an established vacation favorite. Our salute to the world's great beaches continues. We're not getting married. Surfer's legend. The concept is to just make something soft and easy that gives the feel of the wave. So once I realized that uh, there was a, a place for this thing, 
Uh, I could see that it would be used a lot of different ways, but had no imaginings that... He started out selling and designing surfboards for a living. In college, he fell in love with engineering and now calls himself a visionaire inventor. And how you get an idea, a good idea, is very carefully, very thoroughly going over and over and over things. And uh, I'm plagued with inventions. My wife says that I got more inventions than a dog has fleas. And as an inventor, I'm getting pretty good at it. I've been at it about 30 years. Some might call Tom a modern-day absent-minded professor because of his seemingly wacko inventions. But his wife and six kids will tell you different. They say that Tom is a born tinkerer and spends the majority of his time on the beach, dreaming up the likes of air skates, mylar toothpicks, three-sided chess games, and a windsurfing yacht. But as it stands, his sponge-like boogie board has turned this one-time beach bum into a Thomas Edison of the surf world. Everybody's taken a stone at some time and skipped it, you know, along the water. And that's what these kids feel like. You get a big wave like that, you come completely out of the water and you skip. You have the thrill of the roller coaster, except the fear of, the, of death and all that is there because there's nobody planning and engineering any of this except you. Nobody on the road, nobody on the beach. Ah, yes. Tom's favorite beaches to daydream on are in sunny Hawaii, where the boogie board craze has taken over the local scene. The island kids have taken Tom's invention to the limits. They El Rolo it, <laughs> kneel on it, oh, yeah. stand on it, and spin on it at the same time, Whee! and of course, fall off it. Oops. But actually, they say what makes it the best is that it's a lot easier than it looks. And that's what really makes it the best, is anybody can enjoy it from, you know, two years old to, is it, you know, 80. Oh, uh, it's, it's really fun, but you have to keep, be careful to keep some things on. <laughs> Your tops comes off real easy. <laughs> well, that board weighs three pounds. That's uh, a slippery, flexible little piece of foam. So this is something that a grandma, grandpa can take and fill around in the water, or they can put their little kid on. It's like a ballpoint pen. It's the same thing for everybody, whether you're a Picasso or just a scribbler. Tom says the concept of the boogie board may appear very simple, but there is some aerodynamic ingenuity to what makes the boogie boogie. Well, the thing that makes this work so much is this vacuum track rail. So as you're going across the wave, the wave goes up on the inside and sucks the edge into the wave, holds it there. So the faster you go, the tighter it sucks. Tom's key to success is that he believes that everything hasn't been invented yet, which leaves him plenty of room to come up with new ideas. And no one really knows what Tom will come up with next. But one thing you can rest assured, this is one old surfer who still knows how to boogie. It feels wonderful to have composed something that's going to last, last and last a thousand years. Their purpose is to show off your tan. And if you'd like still more tanning control, you can get an adjustable bottom to avoid those telltale tan lines. Women should know what colors make them pop. And I think those are the colors that they should wear. And I don't think that women should always wear black if they're heavy. I think they should feel good and feel vibrant and get into some of the prettier colors. Looking for something on the wild side? The new snakeskin look is for you. Patterns are available in your favorite reptile. Snakes on the sand make you queasy? There are other prints to bring out the animal in you. Some of the most exciting changes are in the trusty old one-piece suit. This see-through is really not even skin deep. It's a lace suit with flesh-toned lining. As always, there are one-piece suits that expose as much as the two-piece. There's even a suit for those who can't decide between the two. The swimsuits that they're making now are beautiful, whether they are two-piece or one-piece. They've done a lot with the one-piece. I know people think in order to look sexy, they need to wear a bikini, but that's not true because the one pieces have beautiful lines to them. But why stop with just one or two pieces? Eugenia has come out with the first three-piece suit. You can wear it as is, tuck in the bottom for a different look, or lose the outer piece altogether. Great way to customize your tan. 
not only women will be making fashion statements this summer, men will be sporting suits in more colors and with less material. The same thing applies to men as it does to women. Um, if men are very uh, toned and in good shape and work out, people look at them and think that looks great. For the purely outrageous, nothing beats leather. If you want to hide behind hide this season, there are versions available for the water. That is, if you really must swim. As you can see, skin is in. I think, again, that that has to do with the fitness boom, that everybody is, is looking better these days and feel more confident and want to wear these kind of suits. It also lets them get a better tan. That's it. That's good. Okay, now you've seen what's out there, how do you know which suit is right for you? Here are some tips from Valerie. If you're on the heavier side, try a higher cut at the leg, something a few inches above the bottom of your hip. This gives the illusion of longer legs. Those well endowed shouldn't go for the plunging neckline. Try a scoop neck. With color, you'll have to experiment. But most important, wear something that makes you feel good. I think people think about uh, swimwear as fashion today. And that's why uh, the fashion industry with, the, with swimwear is just booming. So the word for 85 is get fit. If you don't start now, it's going to be a long, hot summer. Never. All right, what, start us at the beginning. What about just basic suits for those kind of guys, you know, that can only wear, you know, just your basic old classic suit? Well, that's not you, David, right. but let me show you what the basic suit is. It's this one, and this is from Jansen. This is the boxer suit. It's triple stitched at the waist. It has pockets that are hidden among the three stripes on the side. And David, this suit already has sold well over 100,000 pieces. It's the most popular shape in America today. And popular shapes are also great looking shapes. The next suit I want to show you, thanks a lot, Kiko, is this one. This is the bikini. I know you recognize it. It came from Europe, and now it is really selling more in the United States than it ever has before because guys are really getting in shape and keeping in shape. This one has a two-inch side width. It also comes a little narrower if you want a one-inch, or you can be a little bit more modest and have three. The news here is the color in the diagonal stripes. This suit is what we call our gentleman boxer suit. Can you, Michael, unzipper that and show it has a flat panel in front, elastic all the way around. It's very flattering for any waist measurement, and the length is a nice flattering length between the knee and the hip. Thanks a lot. Those three are all by Jansen. Color is big, David. Right. You know, a lot of nudes here. If you want to know what color, the answer is bright. Anything that's bright. This one in a purple and white awning stripe, bordered with black, a little pocket in the back. And the other one is color blocking. This is white with big splotches of color. Hey, those Both are, of these, those are like fun. Them? Yeah, they're fun. These are by Henry Grethel, David. Right. Thanks a lot. Well, what about shapes? Are there different shapes, uh, Pat, in suits? Yes, there are. This is a little longer, you notice, than the ones you've been seeing. This is like an adaptation of the surfer suit. Again, it comes, oh, about three or four inches above the knee, but it comes with a matching cover-up. And this is what they call the new motive look in Morona Sport. It's a print that looks like something you do in the water. It's a surfboard print, bright colors print, and the two pieces together are called a cabana set. What's news here, David, is this can be worn in the pool or it can be worn on the street, really. Ah, that's nice. Thanks a lot. So, ah, what do we have here? Now, this is a longer, this is really the true length of the traditional surfer suit. The guys had to have the width so they could kneel down on the surfboard. So, if you're a man with heavier thighs, this is a great suit for you. The news here is that it's in a new Madras print stripe, elastic all the way around. And if you really want to be fashionable, you wear the print shirt with the striped pants. That is the latest. That's in, right? That's in. And this is the other in. This is from Gotex, and this is a St. Petersburg print. Would you believe, David, this is a three-piece swimsuit? He no, looks I like wouldn't. this on the street, but what else can he do if there's water? Gotex for men is making a coordinated bikini, so you can wear either or. How do you like the looks? Oh, well, you're getting closer, uh, Pat. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> They're getting closer, David. So this is if you're in shape. 
Then we have the boxer short, a little bit longer, and the surfer. How right. about it? What do we look for when people are going? What do they look for when they go out for bathing suits, Pat? Just a... The same thing that women do, the suit that flatters your body and the color that flatters your skin, and you're going to look terrific. And guess what, David? What? These are all waterproof. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Oh, that looks like a little swim there. Pat George, yeah. thank you. And Radiant. Walmart fashion. Dazzling. Walmart. That's fashion. That's Walmart. Get the look that gets the looks. Get the Walmart way. That's real savings. That's the Walmart. Putting in the fashion area. For instance, in sportswear, we've always been wearing these uh, pastel prints you've seen this season in shorts and blouses and separates. And the pastel print has also come in swimsuit, like this first one. This is by Ann Cole, and it represents the pastel color, the pale yellow, the pale pinks. Also, that big cabbage rose, which we've seen on a lot of ready-to-wear, makes the suit very feminine. Also, in swimsuits, you'll see pale colors, like pale yellow, pale pink, pale blue. A whole pastel theme. And the cut up on the side, I mean, she has an incredible figure. What if you were a little bit heavier in the thigh? Would that actually help you then? It really does, it does. if it's cut up. It makes you appear thinner rather than trying to hide it. And the back, you can see, is cut low. And this is a good feature in a one-piece, Joan, because it gives you an even tan. Also, a low back is, if you have a pretty back, reveal that. It makes you appear a little bit taller. But this David didn't ask that question because he didn't notice the figure. <laughs> now, what about uh, bikinis? Now, these, this, uh, we're a lot of one-piece suits. There are a lot of one-piece. I have a couple more one-piece. You have to wait a minute, David, for the bikini. <laughs> well, but I just coming. said I don't get excited. This is all. This, I know he's getting excited. <laughs> this suit is really, this is designed by Gotex, and it's in also that pastel family pinks are very big in swimsuits in all colors. This suit is more flattering if you have a smaller bust, Joan. It really uh, gives you the fullness and shearing of the dresses that we've seen in the ready-to-wear. And as she turns around, you can see the back also is sheared all the way around the back. Can we take a peek? And gives oh, you a, it the, flatters the figure, the makes your waist look smaller. And a V neckline is also very good if you, you know, very flattering to the shoulder line and to the face. So. Pink. Think about a pink suit this year. This one is by Gotex. Now, another look that has come from the ready-to-wear area is for evening, we're seeing a lot of glitter, and in swimwear, we're seeing glitter. This is glamour in both the see-through cover-up, this one all in polyester by Gotex, and the suit is by Donnie, and it's a uh, nylon lycra stretch fabric, and on top, it has little plastic discs that have been put on with heat. But you could wear this in salt water. You could wear it in chlorinated water. It It'll looks fragile, mm -hmm. but it's really very practical. Huh. Another feature about this suit, if you're full busted, this happens to be cut on the bias and actually would be very flattering for someone that had that type of a figure. And, of course, blue with the tan is terrific. Very flattering. Terrific. Now, David. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You uh, asked me about bikinis, yeah. David? Yeah. Bikinis are always going to be around. They're a classic in swimwear. But there's a new look to the two-piece, and this is it. Do you know what this is called? The wrestling suit. What is it? It's what to is wrestling, wrestling suit? David. Yes, really? <laughs> But the wrestling suit, <laughs> you see the, the bottom part actually is what a wrestler would wear in the ring over a t-shirt or, or over his oh, wonderful God. body. And this, for women, they've added a little halter top. This is in a graffiti print. You'd right. have some strange tan lines with that. You know what kind of tan you get? You get a graffiti tan That's right. this one. <laughs> All right, what other kind of bikini? Well, the other two-piece suit that I want to show you is this new version. And it's a very interesting look because it's two-piece and it has a nice bottom, but you can roll down. Stop right there for a minute. This actually can be a one-piece suit. If you want to buy the suit and roll it up for a tan of the middle or make it one piece, actually, if you have to go someplace after the beach, you roll it all the way down and it becomes a, cover a dress. Up. I'll do that. So this is designed by Julio. And you From a top French designer and discover what makes her the Côte d'Azur, the good life on the Mediterranean, sun, sand, and the birthplace of the world's most famous and striking swimsuits. <laughs> To 
To see where some of the most exclusive French swimwear is created, you have to come here to the back streets of the north of Nice and the house of Croisette. The best on the beach begin here, in the mind's eye of Marlène Lambert. The object is to close a woman as much as possible as if she were in a dream. I cannot accept that a woman appear nude on a beach. Even when I design a sexy look, the woman should appear to be well clothed. A woman should feel like she is the most beautiful on the beach. Marlene began her career as a painter. As an artist, she's won many awards, and her husband and partner, Michel, thinks that's partly the key to her success in swimsuit design. It's a good training for swimming suits uh, to, to mix the color, to, to love the color, to, to use them. It takes about a year to get a swimsuit off the drawing board and into the stores. Marlene does it all, design, fabric selection, and sewing the prototypes for the collection, as many as 100 suits a season. I begin with the study of the body and the line of the body, as if I were painting or drawing a nude on paper. The Lamberts never know which creations will sell the best, but one suit in particular has been an international favorite for three seasons now, selling more each year. It's called Diva, and the Lamberts knew they had a winner when they paid a visit to the beach at Saint-Tropez. When visiting this uh, beach, uh, we saw that uh, one uh, woman out of two uh, was wearing the, uh, these suits. Interestingly, the suit itself is international, a combination of an American gold fabric and a French royal blue. And hold on to your ooh-la-las for a minute. The Lamberts say they're not into making blatantly sexy suits like the skimpy Brazilian variety. Making a sexy suit is not fashion, it's not clothing, and that we do not like it. <laughs> And is there a way to distinguish a croisette suit from all the others on the beach? Marlène says there is one thing to look for. You can recognize it because you will see the woman is happy as she wears it. The Diva suit costs $69, and the other suits range from $60 to $100. Yeah, and uh, Marlene says that which country buys which suits doesn't necessarily depend on the styles, but rather on the sizes. You see, the French women tend to like the little tiny suits, the Americans the medium size, and the Italians the large ones. <laughs> well, stay with us, and when we come back, we'll see how this studio...